Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading energy check-in for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. We are going to take a look at your over energies, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for September. Um, and then uh, we will see what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, so keep in mind, Scorpio, uh, this could be anything. Um, love, romance, relationships, friendships, family, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. We will see what the cards pick up. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new uh, posts. Uh, that post on my, onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Over our energies for Scorpio. What is surrounding Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. Scorpio, free free to apply this to your own unique situation. This could be you. This could be someone that you're dealing with. Uh, you could switch the roles if you want. Ten of Wands here. So someone here is getting tired of something. Wow, interesting. We have the Empress and the Emperor, so this is a pair. Both of you are getting tired of something here. Something is, something is becoming a burden. The Seven of Cups. Archangel okay, Fool. So Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Five of Cups. We have the Moon here, Cancer, uh, Pisces energy. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. Um... I'm feeling like a relationship here might be coming to a close because I feel like someone here is tired of the secrets, tired of the confusion, tired of the d disappointment, and just tired of perhaps someone's incredibly foolish behavior. I mean, we have someone here, I feel like, maybe made promises and they broke those promises. You could be dealing with someone here that is non-committal, Scorpio. Uh, but let's see what else is going on. Why is the Seven of Cups here? By the way, I feel like some of you might be really, 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 really great with your money. So we have this Ten of Pentacles here. Some of you might be get some. Some of you might be over your jobs too. Some of you might be over your jobs, and I feel like perhaps some of you are seeking a new beginning here in regards to your career and work. Uh, I, I, I'm feeling like with the work thing, the passion for this work for this job, it's fizzling out. It's fizzling out. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Seven of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So there you are right there, uh, uh, Scorpio. So I feel like you're searching for something new here. You could be searching for something new in regards to your work. Also, perhaps new love too. Because I feel like there's this energy of just feeling over it. Over with your job. Over with your relationship. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm feeling like someone here might be going through some sort of midlife crisis. Why is this Fool card here? Full card and the Six of Cups. So someone here is having nostalgia. Someone here is thinking back at a time when they were younger. You know, younger, you know, more vibrant or, 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 or you know, more passionate about things. I just feel like someone here is losing passion for everything. All right, why is this Five of Cups here? So I feel like someone here is just really disappointed uh, uh, 
in their life right now. Uh, perhaps maybe someone here is living in regret where they feel like they should have done more in, 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 uh, when they were younger uh, and, and now they're trying to make up for it. Someone here is trying to make up for it. Uh, Eight of Wands. Why is this moon here? The moon and the four of swords. I feel like someone here is daydreaming a lot how things could have been better. I feel like someone here is living their life in regret, feeling like they should have done more. So Scorpio, this could be you. Or like I said, this doesn't have to be you. It could be someone that you're dealing with. A partner, an ex, a friend, a family member, a, a, a co-worker. Um, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Why is this uh, Ten of Pentacles here? The Ten of, Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Why is this uh, Nine of Wands here? Nine of Wands and the Lovers. So, I mean, we have someone here that's getting sick and tired of this relationship, sick and tired of life. Um, you know, I think for some of you, this might resonate with for some of you guys, but I feel like there is this energy of getting married or getting settled down perhaps too young and feeling like you didn't live out your youth or something like that. And I feel like you want to make up for that. Yeah, I just feel like someone here is daydreaming, thinking about a, a time when they were younger and, and and someone, yeah, I'm feeling like someone's saying like, you know, I should have had more fun or, you know, I should have dated around more or I, I don't know, had more sex or something like that and just experienced life. Um, so with this Five of Swords and this Ten of Pentacles here, I'm, I, I'm feeling like someone here is now second guessing, you know, if it was a good idea to, you know, perhaps, you know, get married young or have children young here. This is only going to apply to some of you guys, I feel. Not all. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm feeling like this is only going to apply to a small percentage of you, of you guys, uh, just from the storyline. Um, all right. Outcome and advice here for Scorpio regarding their situation. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, September 2021. Uh, I'll come in advice here for uh, Scorpio. Oh. All right, Ten of Pentacles again. Oh, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. So uh, Scorpio, you may have that in your chart. You could be dealing with someone that has that in their chart. Um, all right, Ten of Pentacles. All right, the uh, uh, Ari, no, the Emperor. Okay, let's see here. All right, he's the Cups. Seems like someone here is looking for something new. Yeah, I'm feeling that someone here is having a midlife crisis. Two of Swords. Like crisis thing, I feel like I mean I could go on and on about that too. Why people go have midlife crisis, but midlife crisis has something to do with your something from your childhood, something that hasn't been touched on, and it's been buried, and it's coming out in a way where you know yes, you're doing something for yourself, but then you're affecting all these people around you. I mean, I, I mean, I don't have time, but I would love to do a video on that. I would also love to do a video on, you know, what the difference between your intuition and your ego is. I just don't have the time. I'm like really, really busy. All right, we have the hangman. We have the six of pentacles here. We have the magician on the bottom of the deck, so I'm feeling like someone here is wanting a second chance at their youth. That's what I'm feeling here. That's what I'm feeling here. I mean, there is prevention basically on how to, you know, how to sort of like keep a midlife crisis from happening. It has something to do with our unhealed traumas too. 
It has something to do with our unhealed traumas. Also, it has something to do with the self. It starts with the self, your self-worth. I mean, I could go on and on about that, but I don't have time. I wish, yeah, I mean, these videos are meant to, I mean, these readings are meant to be anywhere between like 10 minutes to like 20 minutes long. So I, yeah, I could go on and on about that. I could go on and on about the intu the difference between intuition and uh, the ego. Uh, Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you might have that in your chart. You could be dealing with something that has that in their chart. We have the Emperor here. We have the, uh, and the Ten of Swords. Um, I feel like someone here is willing to give up everything that they gained up until this point so that they could have a second chance of, of, of something here. Um, just like many second chances on, on something. Anything, it could be anything. Uh, perhaps it could be traveling the world. It could be dating around. It could be sleeping around. It could be just doing, because I'm feeling like there's someone here that sh feels like they should have enjoyed their youth, you, you, you know? So why is this Ace of Cups here? The Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. I mean, someone here is feeling like they're just not happy in their life and they're, they're trying to search for that. Why is this Two of Swords here? The Two of Swords and the King of Cups. So there you are right there, uh, uh, Scorpio. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. Why is this Hangman here? The Hangman and the Five of Cups. I'm feeling like someone here is living their life in regret. That's what I'm feeling here. That's what I'm feeling here. So Scorpio, maybe you're dealing with a partner that's like the, the going through this. A friend, a family member. Like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Six of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. I mean, there's this energy of wanting to invest in exploring, just having a good time here. I feel like someone, I mean, I feel like there's going to be a fight here if you're paired up with someone. If you're paired up with someone, I feel like there's going to be a fight. Someone here is not going to be okay with this. You might be married to an empress. If this has to do with a marriage here, and you want to close out and just want to go uh, go have a good old time, um, I, I do feel like when this happens, I feel like people should go and just explore what they missed out on. Yeah. So, the thing is you have to communicate that to the people that are around you. That's important. So that there are no surprises. So that you're not hiding secrets and then people are getting hurt. That's not nice. So, uh, Scorpio, I hope this resonated. Like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. This could be you, uh, or this could be a partner, a friend, a family member, coworker. Um, so if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below, uh, like this video, uh, share it if you haven't done so, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.